Thank you for joining. In this lesson, I will explain the project we are going to build. I will also show you the prepared project domain database schema with an entity relationship diagram. This schema will be used to create the database schema using C -sharp classes and properties with the code first approach, allowing us to consume it in entity framework. The Trappist-1 solar system shows promise with its exoplanets and sun. This project will include our solar system's planets and a summary of the Trappist-1 solar system, focusing on evidence of water existence on the planets. Before starting any project, you need to define your project schema diagram. Additionally, you should plan your classes and class properties, considering factors such as whether they will contain foreign keys that reference other tables or the data types of properties. Once your domain model is defined, you can use Entity Framework to create the schema in the database. This is how our domain model will be structured in the database. Now we will define these classes to model our database data. The Planets class, for example, will include seven properties, including a unique GUID property. Additionally, it will have two foreign key constraints, referencing the Solar System and Water classes, enabling navigation to these related classes. Similarly, the other classes will have their own properties. By providing these three classes with properties to Entity Framework, the Framework will generate a database schema based on them. Each class will correspond to a table and the table columns will mirror the class properties. Columns can be non-nullable, which will result in errors if not provided, or nullable, allowing for null values without errors. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great coding content. Stay updated with the latest videos by ringing the notification bell. Happy coding!